Hi everyone, you are welcome to Physical Personal Studio. My name is Fola. Uh, today we shall continue with the journey process in the making of a beautiful bustier dress with a net lace yoke. You can see that I've gone ahead to attach my fusible interfacing to the uh, main fabric. Same thing is done here. So, and uh, even this uh, belt that will be at the upper bust uh, region, the fusible, uh, fusible interfacing is uh, attached to it as well. Yes, yeah, this is the um, yoke. So, the next thing is for me to just go, on, go ahead and be joining it with a uh, avalanche joining allowance that has been, you know, uh, Input A. So that's how everything will be done. Line it to line it, fabric to fabric. Then you remember that uh, uh, we have closed our waist dart for the back. So no need for holding any dart here again. Now I've gone ahead to join the uh, bodies, the front bodies together, the dart uh, region. Uh, the same thing is done to the uh, lining. So let's take care of the back first. So to join the the yoke to the back uh, uh, bodies, all you need to do is to grab your yoke. You, you can see I've gone ahead to secure the opening, the center back. I've secured it with uh, bias. This is the second one. This is the it. So. All I'll do now is just to, this is the lining and the main fabric, one side. This is the second side. So let me demonstrate how I'm going to take care of it for you with uh, one side of the back. So this is it. All you need to do is just to, to mark uh, your one inch um, zipper allowance. One inch zipper allowance is being marked. So normally this is the way it's going to it's going to be in the half an inch you added at the damp parts is going to be you know inserted in the lining and the uh, fabric this way. So all you need to do is you, you know have put it in between the lining and the fabric. So just flip the the main fabric this way, then this way for the uh, net to be in between the lining and the fabric. And the, the stitching will be starting after the one inch, one inch zipper allowance. You can see how it is placed. So that is how you are going to stitch it with your half an inch uh, joining allowance. Here you can use a office pin to uh, hold it down. So you are going to stitch with half uh, an inch before you now flip it to the uh, right side and top stitch on the line. So that's the way I'm going to do the back. So that is for the back. For the front uh, piece, the first thing I will do, this is the, uh, that. Uh, a flip you can see in the um, upper region of the front bodies. So you just place it this way. What I have here is more than what I need. So it's always good to have excess. So just uh, stitch it down on the upper chest region of these uh, front bodies. You stitch it down first. After stitching this on the, on the bodies, it becomes a one. So you now do it the same way uh, I did the back by him putting your uh, yoke in between the lining and the and the fab and the main fabric. Then you flip it and do just the same way I did for the for the back, but by then. This must have been, you know, stitched 
on this. This must have become one. When you are attaching this on the front bodies, ensure that you have excess here. You know, this is the don't place it like this. You will have problem here. So ensure that you have excess by the side. So then you stitch it like a coral of an inch. Stitch it down to this end and ensure that you have excess as well because it has to be in shape of this uh, armor. So that is why we cut out excess of this in the first place. Yeah, I've gone ahead attaching my beautiful gold net lace uh, uh, fabric to this uh, to the bodies. You can see how beautiful it looks. So beautiful. The owner of this uh, dress can't stop loving good and wine. So beautiful anyway. So and I've gone ahead to to join the side with my one inch uh, joining allowance by the side. Uh, line it to line, fabric to, to fabric. You can see how neat and beautiful it looks. I close up the um, hammer region here. So what are the next thing that remain, the remaining things for us to do is to go ahead and fix our collar, the bishop collar. I will drop the the link for the video for the bishop collar we, we did one recently. I'll drop it for you. I've cut it out using a 90 degree uh, method, 90 degree flame method. So attach it with a, I have here the lining and the fabric. The joining, they have an inch up and down joining allowance of this will give it a strength because it's net. You can't hide any interfacing to it. So that is for the um, for the collar, and after joining my collar, I will just put one button or uh, the end of the, the collar here, yeah, the back, center back. So that is for the collar. So for the um, sleeve, I've gone ahead to cut out my sleeve, the uh, normal basic sleeve, but the explanation here is just that. Let your sleeve, let it be normal sleeve. Um, I mean, let it reach your wrist before you now join the, the flay. There is another 90 degree flay here. So just from your wrist to somewhere around here, like four to five inches. So it will be attached to the sleeve, to the basic sleeve before we finally close it by the side and attach it to this uh, top that is it so for the damp part of the bodies i'll just go ahead and use the remaining my remaining material yeah i've gone ahead to attach my uh, piece of collar to it you can see how uh, neat it looks and i had a uh, just one button here you can see it here eh? yeah then I've gone to, you know, attach my sleeve. Is the sleeve, the flare, the 90 degree flare has been attached to it. You can see the, uh, the bristle collar, you can see it clearly. I will drop the link for this uh, uh, bristle collar. So you don't need to add any interface in this net. So then I've gone ahead to join the, the damp part. I just make it uh, just short. Uh, short dress that is how uh, far my fabric permits me i don't have enough material of this uh, uh, burgundy dutch shirt sick but for the damp parts you are seeing in that uh, thumbnail i will drop the link for it we made a video uh, uh, of such recently i'll drop the link then i'll drop the link for the color so and um, the only thing it remains for me is just to go and attach my back zipper and a beautiful dress is ready i'm sure you have really enjoyed this video uh drop i mean share the link with your friends and family drop your comments on the comment section and uh, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel 
do well to subscribe today. I'm sure you have learned one or two things from this uh, class. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.